welcome to Daytona International Speedway. For the YCAS Cup Series, it's race number 12 in season one. With the playoffs looming, wins are more important than ever, and what better way than to win here at Daytona. It's the YCAS Cup Series, we've got super speedway racing coming up. Before we get started, we have some Stuart Haas racing news. They've signed all their drivers on to an extension. Kurt Busch signs a two-year extension, so does Danica Patrick. And Tony Stewart will stay on for one more season. Kevin Harvick had already signed his contract earlier in the season. Here's the starting lineup. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. will start on pole with Brad Keselowski on his outside. Trevor Bain and Kurt Busch will share row two. Joey Logano, Greg Biffle, row three. Dale Earnhardt Jr., Kevin Harvick, row four. Casey Kane and Eric Almarola, row five. Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon, row six. Denny Hamlin, Danica Patrick, row seven. Sam Hornish Jr. and Jimmy Johnson in row eight. Chase Elliott, David Gilliland, row nine. Kyle Busch and Clint Boyer in row 10. Row 11, A.J. Allmendinger, Matt Kenseth. Row 12, Cole Witt and Carl Edwards. David Reagan, Michael McDowell, row 13. Behind them, Austin Dillon, Kyle Larson, Martin Church Jr., and Paul Menard, row 15. Row 16 belongs to Ryan Newman and Jamie McMurray. Row 17, Bobby Labonte and Ty Dillon. Row 18, Casey Mears, Justin Allgaier, and Matt DiBenedetto, row 19. With just four races remaining, including today's race, we'll take a look at the point standings. These guys at the cut line, like Almirola, McMurray, Newman, and Dillon, they all need to stay out of trouble today. And we get a new surprise winner that's not even on the board here. All these guys will shift down. It's going to be a chaotic race from start to finish with what's on the line for these drivers today. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. takes us to the green, and we're racing here at Daytona. How early will we see a third lane form? It looks like Jeff Gordon's already at the top searching for a third lane. As Joey Logano's on the bottom. Stenhouse sees him. He's going to come down and block the 22. Greg Biffle to the middle. And there it is. Three wide already on lap one. Coming off of turn four. They're three wide for the lead. And it looks like the 17 of Stenhouse will lead that lap over Kurt Busch. Brad Keselowski in the middle. Looks loose in front of the 16 of Greg Biffle. But he keeps it straight as the field flies through turns one and two. And down the back stretch. Keselowski into Stenhouse. They both keep it straight. They're going to keep going. No caution. But already the two and the 17 heading to the back of the field. As Keselowski got loose. Now Kurt Busch will take the lead. Here comes Gordon. And the 22 of Legato. They split him in the middle. Now Kurt Busch falls to third. Second in line in the middle as Jeff Gordon will claim the lead. Here comes Legato. He sees a run to the top. Now to the middle. Oh my goodness. They're being so aggressive here. Just on lap three. What a move by Legato. Now they're three wide for the lead again. Gordon at the top. Legato trying to block the 88. Here comes Dale Jr. to the outside. Legato to the block the middle in front of Kane. Now he's clear of the 88. Let's see if he can control these lanes up front. Hamlin with a run. He blocks it. Now he's up to the top in front of Dale Jr. Denny Hamlin was loose in front of Casey Kane there. He gathers it up as Legato leads the top lane. Look at Chase Elliott and Denny Hamlin. Both save and I thought they were going to wreck for sure. Oh man, what a save by these guys. Denny Hamlin's car is a handful right now here at the front of the pack. Casey Kane turns Denny Hamlin. The whole field's caught up in it. They're wrecking big time in turn three. Omening are flipping. It's the big one on lap five. Caution's out for the first time today. And it starts with Casey Kane and Denny Hamlin. Casey Kane all over the back bumper. Hamlin was so loose before this. Collects the whole field. Almending are flipping violently. And turns one and two as his car falls into the pile. We'll take another look at it. We'll really slow it down here as they continue to clean up this gigantic mess. But watch Casey Kane. He just he knows Denny Hamlin was loose the corner before. Or maybe it starts with Tony Stewart. Stewart was all over the back bumper of the five. It's an accordion effect. It turns the 11, the 11 into the 20 of Kenseth. Kenseth down into Almendinger, who gets flipped upside down. There's Greg Biffle running into Casey Kane. Ryan Newman's in it. He's a bubble driver. Jamie McMurray's in it as well. Big wreck with playoff implications for several drivers. 
We'll look at it one more time at full speed here. But what carnage here at Daytona. 16 cars were involved in this wreck. That's the total. They were all checked and released from the care center. That might be the only good news for them as none of them will be continuing in this race. Well, the green flag is back in the air. Joey Logano looks to try and control this field again. He's got the 88 of Dale Jr. to his outside. And look at that. They are not afraid to go three wide still even after the big one. Here comes Dale Jr. up to block that third lane. Now to the middle, Jeff Gordon. No, he fakes Joey Logano. Logano loose in the middle. But he's going to gather it up as they're three wide for the lead again. Jeff Gordon on the inside is going to lead lap six with four laps to go. What can he do to stay up front? Or can Joey Logano come back up through the middle? Here he comes with a run with David Gilliland in the 38. Gordon trying to block. So loose was the 24. I thought he was going to go around, but he saves it as well. Joey Logano back to the front on the inside with Jimmy Johnson. Coming to three laps to go for the 22. And they're wrecking again. Kurt Busch up in the air. Back onto the ground. And the caution's out again. Another big wreck in this race. And it's on lap number eight. Kurt Busch was running in the middle of the field. Most of these guys were. We'll take a look at the replay as they clean up this mess. Well, there's Kurt Busch on the outside. Look at Casey Mears in the middle. He's in the blue 13. I think he gets turned by the 32. Bobby Labonte behind him. Look at Ty Dillon and Michael McDowell avoid this carnage going down pit road. As Kurt Busch got a lot of air time in that wreck. When these cars get turned around like that, the air just wants to pick them up like an airplane. But thank goodness the roof lap set that car back on the ground. Unlike Almendinger's crash... His was more of a weight shift when Kenseth hit him. Nothing the roof laps could do to keep that car from going over. But Kurt Busch lands back on the ground. And we're going to have a record here for wrecked cars in this series. Six cars involved in this one. There are now more wrecked cars out of this race than there are cars left in. Only 15 cars will be on the restart here. But it's Joey Logano still in control of this field. Here they come, green flag, two laps to go. And it's Joey Logano with a big push from Jeff Gordon. Gordon, can he clear the 48 and maybe jump to the outside of Joey Logano? Here he goes with a run. No, he's into the wall. Jeff Gordon, big hit into the outside wall. And the caution's out again. Jimmy Johnson spins in this one. He's going to drive away, but a heavy hit. For Jeff Gordon as he tried to make a move to the outside of Joey Logano. Here's the replay. Logano just keeps coming up trying to block the run. The 24 was already there. But Logano essentially takes him out. Putting him into the outside wall. A heavy hit for the Jeff Gordon machine. Here it is again. Gordon has a big run and jumps to the outside. But the 22 just comes up. And gets the 24 turned into that outside wall. Great job by the rest of the field to avoid the spinning Jeff Gordon. Gordon will be the only car to retire from this wreck. Jim Johnson has made his way to pit road. But now we've got to look at the overtime rules in the Cast Cup Series. No race will ever end under caution. If the caution flag waves, one lap will be added to the race. And the leader does not have lane choice for the restarts. They must start on the inside lane. And this is only if we get a caution on this restart. We are technically not in overtime yet. It is the white flag here. Lap 10 of 10. And it's Joey Logano with David Gilliland to his outside. Dale Jr. giving David Gilliland a big push through 1 and 2. Can the 38 jump into the playoffs with this one? We got one around in the back. The caution will not come out. Here comes Logano to the inside of David Gilliland. Joey Logano to the front. Gilliland to the outside to get a run. Will it be enough? Here they come to the checkered flag. It will not be enough for Gilliland. Joey Logano will win at Daytona. What a thrilling finish to this wild race. It's the 22 who made an impressive move to get the lead back on Gilliland. He fakes to the outside and jumps to the inside of the 38. And it was a drag race from there to the checkered flag. Joey Logano will win. It was Chase Elliott who wrecked on the backstretch. Caution didn't come out for him. 
And that means Joey Logano will burn it down here at Daytona. What a finish for Joey Logano. He takes the win. David Gilliland ends up second. Kevin Harvick third. Matt DiBenedetto fourth. Dale Earnhardt Jr. gets fifth. Austin Dillon, a cutoff driver, gets sixth. Good run for him. Kyle Busch seventh. He needed that run as well. Danica Patrick in eighth. She needed a good run. Finally gets a top ten. And look at that. Only 13 cars will end up finishing this race. So many cars wrecked out. Almendinger 22nd. He flipped in this race. Eric Almarola gets 16th. Even though he wrecked, that's not a bad finish for where he is in the points. Here's the rest of the field. It was a tough day for the Roush cars. None of them will finish the race, and none of them will place in the top 30 with that. But here's the point standings now after Daytona. Joey Logano, he was above the cut line, and he finally locks it down. Almarola just plus 7 over Ryan Newman. Jamie McMurray and Kyle Busch both 16 out. Not much time left for these guys. But 16 points is doable. Greg Biffle, minus 29, a bit much. And here's the regular season standings. That's for the extra 10 playoff points for the regular season champion. Right now, Kurt Busch has a three-point lead over Jeff Gordon. Neither of those guys finished the race. Joey Logano jumps into the picture, though, with his win. He's only minus 21 points. For the regular season championship. Only three races remain before the playoffs. And the next track on the schedule. Watkins Glen. It will be our second and final road course of the season. But that's it from Daytona. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you next time.